Hey guys, I'm at Frankfurt Airport. I had standby today. I waited all the afternoon and I just um, received my confirmation. I'm flying to China. I'm flying to Shanghai. Uh, welcome to this vlog. You might be thinking what the hell happened and why aren't you in China right now? Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog where things happen differently than we expected them to be. I started this vlog saying that I got a flight from standby uh, to Shanghai and then that was it and you might be thinking hey what happened? I will tell you what happened. Right now I'm heading Frankfurt Airport. It's 4.30 in the morning and um, yeah, I'm about to get in a two days short haul rotation with uh, one night in Bilbao. That is my train! <laughs> a coffee at a um, Mac cafe there's nothing better and um, I could have done myself one at home but I didn't want to wake Tara up and uh, Tara is also having some visits from Munich our friend Tess um, she flies for Lufthansa City Line and um, yeah she's staying with us for two or three nights and yeah, uh, yeah I didn't want to wake up the girls at home that's my plane for today. So there we go. Let's have some breakfast. Hello, Flo. <laughs> Hast du Feierabend? Nee, ich fang jetzt an. Ah. <laughs> I know this is not Spain, I know I'm not eating churros, I know that Tara is over here, I know that I'm back in Germany, that I was at home for one night, and I know that I didn't film what I wanted to film, I'm sorry for that, I just, it's not that I forgot, it was just that I was very tired and I just needed some sleep, so that's what I did, and yesterday we had a little party at home, uh, we celebrated Tara's birthday again with friends, so yeah, we I know, I just I just didn't have the time to film, sorry for that. She is flying to Berlin, I'm flying to Berlin tonight with the last the flight. The plan was that we fly together. <laughs> yeah, but I got a schedule change now, I have a one day rotation with one flight to Pamplona, that's in Spain, and one flight to Milan. Oberbürgermeisterin Simone Langer und ihr Amtskollege aus Wochen September können sich weiter melden. Mit Vertretern aus 180 Ländern. Good morning from Grey Berlin. Um, I'm a professional luggage packer person and I'm so professional that I forgot to pack um, long pants, long jeans or something that it's long so um, yeah it's getting colder here in Berlin, it's rainy, it's grey, it's chilly and I'm actually it's pretty cold for me right now. <laughs> We just um, got some bread at Albatros. Um, it's a bakery in. This is still Kreuzberg, right? And yeah, now we're about to head to Annelise. And since it's raining and since I'm not dressed up for the right weather, we are going inside again. I think we have been inside only just once. Yes, the first yeah, time. the first time. Tara and her great parking skills. How the hell am I supposed to enter the car? Oh my god. There we go. By the way, I need to be a little bit careful when I open the door because a few days ago, this happened. Holy shit! Ooh. 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 
god. Oh, I know. That hurt. Yeah. Do you remember when it smashed the door? Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, you can try it. No, but try the croissant first. Pan au chocolat. Ooh. I have not had chocolate, but it's good. Mm. I mean, it looks quite good to me. You must be hating me right now because I still didn't tell you what happened. The thing is, um, Annalise was full of people. We were inside, so the sound quality was... It would have been very bad to tell you exactly what happened. And now we saw that there are these new scooters just um, at the corner of Tara's um, apartment. So, um, yeah, we try now to... Like the e-scooters. Yeah, so we are trying now to take one of those. And, um, yeah, it's going to be the first time. So we'll do that first. And then, uh, later on at home, I'll tell you exactly what happened. We got an outfit change. Or I got an outfit change. Uh, did you get an outfit change as well? Yeah, you got also a jacket. And, um, let's go and try it out the, the e-scooters. I'm excited. I'm excited. Andy, if you're watching this, this part of the vlog is just dedicated for you. Here they are, from Lime. I think there are three or four different um, companies that do have the e-scooters here in Berlin. You had to download the uh, app, you know, the, the app uh, from, from the App Store. Uh, it's also available, of course, for Android at uh, the Google Play Store. You are required to have a phone number or a Facebook account or something like that. Keep your payment method, we chose PayPal, but you can also use a credit card. And uh, they sent you a little scan method where you need to scan this code over here, this barcode over here, and then we simply have to use it. And the good thing is, in Mainz and in Wiesbaden and in Frankfurt, of course, they already have them as well. So I saw the other day in Mainz, uh, just in front of my apartment, a few of these parks, so I was like, yeah, we finally have e-scooters. Uh, these things are very cool. The, the activation costs one euro, yeah. and then every extra minute costs uh, 15 cents. The things are pretty easy to use. Now, right now I have 99% of battery. You have a, I have 95. You have a clock. With this, you give gas. You have two brakes, the hand brake and the foot brake. And yeah, and like I said, up to 20 kilometers per hour. And the things are pretty easy. The only thing, before you start, at least this is why I think, because I can stay like here and give gas and nothing happens. No, you first have to you roll. You need to step a little bit. things are fast. We are back, now we only need to lock these things and then it's done. And we will use these guys tomorrow again. Uh, we will go and have a coffee at the bar. Did I tell you guys that um, we actually went to Munich? No, I think we didn't, right? We didn't tell them, no. We went to Munich a few days ago. Where are we? Munich. And last time we were here, we were heading to Nizza, but this time we stay here. Our last experience here was a little bit horrible, but not because of the airport, but we didn't make it on the flight. Yeah, we, we were to... flying standby business class from Nice but, uh, back to Berlin via Munich. Yeah, and we didn't make it on the last flight. And yeah, and we had to rent a car and, and drive. drive for like Six, six, hours six hours through the night through the night to Berlin. <laughs> to Berlin because all hotel rooms and everything were fully booked and there yeah. was nothing going on but it was pretty funny first of all I do have off days and I thought that we could you know enjoy our time and do something else than just staying in Frankfurt or in Berlin second of all um, this girl I will have to move for a like around three months to Munich. Yeah. And I've never been in Munich back like besides the airport this early. So I thought why not checking Munich out. I've been to Munich twice in my life, like in the city. And I've, for work I've been here in the airport surrounding area a few times as well. But 
yeah, why not? You know, it's, it's summer. I've never been here in summer, so I think it's going to be very nice. Yeah. And I have a few high expectations. I don't know why, to be honest. Maybe I should keep them low, but um, usually people, they come to Munich, they love it. So yeah, this is going to be just a one night short trip before we head back to my place, to Frankfurt. And then this guy has them. And I have standby, but that's going to be another story. Now you can tell everyone what we did. In People will think that you're always eating. <laughs> Especially because she loves bread. She eats bread just like that. <laughs> without marmalade, without nothing. Just bread. If you want to make Tara happy, give her bread. <laughs> so hi guys, it's raining outside. And yes, we have been dreaming with those e-scooters. So, um... Yeah, we decided to go to Kudam. It's going to be about a 20 minutes ride. I hope less. It's less money. And yeah, we'll have some fun. I has only 50% We will do that. Battery. Yeah, it's but fine. we want to take them back as well. No, what we want we to park them, them and take different oh, ones. Okay. Yeah, let us go, please, because I'm wet. <laughs> but it stopped raining kind of. That's not true. Cafe Kranzler is up there. We made it, that was actually quite a lot of fun and it took us how long? 12 minutes? Well, 16 that I rented it, but... Yeah. It was raining, so it went quite slow. You look wet and crazy. <laughs> no, but that was actually a lot of fun. Now I cannot wait for a good cup of coffee. <sighs> yes, I'm excited for coffee right now. In my opinion, it's not that cool for being a Sunday, but yeah. Oh, there we go. That's quick. Okay, she got a cappuccino. What is going on with you? Why a cappuccino, not a flat white? Well, yeah, because in the last couple of months you've been saying that flat whites are too strong for you, so that's why I said go with a cappuccino. I went for a big latte because I wanted to have a, a huge drink. The crazy life of a flight attendant or from a cabin crew member. It's that sometimes things happen and you can do nothing about it. First of all, I had a schedule change that I got a standby day, one standby day. That can happen that, occasionally? Yeah, that can happen occasionally. So that's all good, no problem. I had that after we came back from Munich. And, um, well, usually, you know, when I got a flight from standby, I need to pack a big luggage, being prepared for I don't, something long, like a five days rotation, with you know short haul rotation or a five days long rotation whatever i had late standby so i could have even got a flight to to buenos aires to rio de janeiro you know flights are very very long and i got one that is actually quite long um i got one flight to shanghai it's a five days yeah it's a five days rotation four to five minutes after taking off of uh, frankfurt um we had uh, some technical problems with one of our engines the jumbo jet has four engines so if we go from left to right it has you know it has engine number one two three and four and engine number three got what it's so called an compressor stall or an engine stall and a compressor stall is the following thing a compressor stall is the local disruption of the airflow in the compressor of a gas turbine or turbo charger a stall that results in the complete disruption of the airflow through the compressor is referred to as a compressor surge. I had a compressor stall or an engine stall. That's which nothing. Basically, it can look like this. Search for engine stall or compressor stall on YouTube. You will see there's nothing to worry about at all. It's just that you don't have, you have one engine less. And for that reason that we had three engines out of four, we decided to, of course, the safest thing was to fly back to Frankfurt. Uh, we did then some fuel dumping. Fuel dumping means we let fuel run out of the aircraft. Usually you can see that on the wingtips of each and every aircraft, there are some tubes and those tubes just let the, let the fuel um, run, run out. And, um, and yeah, so we did that for around an hour above Fulda and Kassel, the two cities in Germany, and then we returned back 
to Frankfurt. It wasn't like a huge accident. No, it, 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 no, was, it was not an accident. That's not an accident. It was no made nothing. It was an, nothing crazy. It, it was, was just for safety. It was an incident. Yes, the word, the correct word, it. it's an incident. And nothing is wrong with a when a four engines aircraft having three engines, two engines, maybe even one engine is still safe. Of course, we will not going where if, if something happens to one of your engines, you're not going to continue the flight to Shanghai, especially not if you if we were you know five minutes away from Frankfurt, if you want to see it like that. But you won't fly over the Himalaya or anything. Exactly. Like you can safely land a plane and everything. There's nothing bad happening. Usually airlines always go back to their home bases where they have their technicians of exactly. their airlines because they're for them it's they're the easiest to repair a plane if anything is wrong or like even repair like a screen on the plane or anything mm -hmm. like that. So mostly every airline goes back to their home base. For him it was Frankfurt because he came from Frankfurt. Yeah. And yes, that's why they landed. But then it was nothing wrong. Yeah. Like bad. Yeah. Like the engine is not being repaired and that's all. And everything went fine. We landed normally, we a taxi to the um, to the parking position just normally and guys what's very important after such a situation no matter if it's an incident an accident a small thing we always do debriefings we usually meet with the crew before a flight and do a briefing we brief the flight and then after such um, things we usually we usually do a debriefing so we met with the crew and we talked about what happened for me it, at that moment it was very important because we do have different things of course we have our annual recurrence and trainings and I noticed that for example all the things that we learn they come up to your mind just immediately um, you know where I am I sitting do I have special commandos at my door um, what would happen if we land this way what would happen if we land this other way um, we do have a quick reference handbook, it's called QRH and that's also very helpful because we do have some checklists, some procedures that we can remind ourselves when we read them. Um, everything went perfect, the debriefing was very professional. Um, it's only to talk pretty much about what went good or what could have been better just for yeah. if anything ever happens yeah. again like that. If you're interested in reading more about exactly what happened, you can search at a um, area Aero, Aero, the Aero.de article. There are a lot of other um, newspapers and websites who also explained more in detail exactly what happened. Um, so you yeah. can go and check that out. I'm here, I'm fine. After crazy, that, I had one day yeah, off and then the I had. The crazy part was it was in the middle, he came home in the middle of the night and I was sleeping. I got woken up by his roommate and was woke up. Yes. Matteo is back in Frankfurt. He had some problem, but don't worry. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah. It, it took us quite a long time to come home. I think I arrived home at three in the morning or something like that, and then I slept all the morning. And then at some point in the afternoon, I got a call from crew scheduling or cabin crew dispatch telling me that um, you know I had the two days rotation with night in Bilbao, and the next day after we I came back from that. We celebrated Tara's birthday and then I had to fly that one day rotation. Guys, this is what happened. My plan was actually, I got first a flight to Seoul from standby, then that got changed to Shanghai. Then I didn't fly to Shanghai, I had a two days rotation, then I had a one day rotation. And now I'm enjoying my days off. And now I forgot what I wanted to tell you. So yeah, this was a recap, it's already 10 minutes long, holy cow. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll finish the coffee and um, then we will it's finished. head home. Yeah, mine is finished too. I thought you didn't finish. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I love this thing. They're actually very funny to use. I've been trying these out now for two days. Uh, Tara is at home. I wanted to try them all by myself. Uh, you know, checking out the routes that I would like to, uh, where I would like to use them. Um, yeah, I'm right now at uh, Grunewald Rosenegg and I will continue driving now just for a few more minutes till I um, head back home. Guys, I would like to say thank you very much for watching this vlog. Sorry it has been a long vlog again. Um, yeah, but I wanted just to tell you exactly what happened, why I didn't fly to Shanghai and why this vlog was so chaotic. 
So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Take care. Have a great week.